Hi, I'm Peter Garrison, and uh, here we are at Oshkosh. This is my airplane, Melmoth. Uh, it's a self-designed, home-built, somewhat unusual in this age of kit planes. The interesting thing about it is that even though it's, I'd like to think, a somewhat advanced design, it's really outstripped by a lot of what's on the flight line here today. The EA has come a long way since the first time I was here in uh, 1969. Actually, it was Rockford, Illinois then, instead of Oshkosh, and at that time, uh, there were just very few airplanes that were made of metal that had what we would consider today fairly high performance. And I actually was amused to see when I was walking down the flight line there that there's now a category of airplane on display which they call classic home built. And those were the airplanes which back in 1969 were the high performance airplanes, the sort of unusually jazzy and uh, exciting and rather rare ones. And now they're the classics. Home builds have really been leading the way in uh, the design of general aviation airplanes. The thing about composite construction is that it's made it possible for people to free themselves completely from the constraints of the metal construction imposed. With a metal, you kind of could only do a limited number of things. And so you were, in a sense, enthralled to the characteristics of aluminum. With composite construction, you can make any shape you want and you can make it look great and so I think sometimes the beauty of these composite airplanes masks uh, some kind of suspect areas uh, and at the same time as, as this innovation is going on something else is going on which is a little little bit hard to figure out for someone who's been involved with this as long as I have. Home building began uh, as a way for people to gain uh, education and recreation and it was mostly retired people building what were in effect uh, model airplanes of you know man carrying size or almost almost man carrying size uh, but now there are turboprop six eight seat home builds and you know to all appearances there's no reason they shouldn't be equivalent to a factory built airplane so what does certification mean anymore if you can build your own cabin class twin. I mean, next thing you know, it's going to be a twin jet. I don't know the answer to that. I guess the FAA is thinking about it or, or maybe worrying about it every night. Uh, but I'm going to stay tuned, and I think the next five or ten years are going to show some really interesting developments in aviation, and most of it taking place right here at the EAA level.